Brother Prasbata Sergei Baranov. Christianity is painful. Sermon by the relics of Saint Nectarios of Egina. We are standing by the icon of Holy Theotokos, which is near the shrine with the relics of Saint Nectarios of Egina. In the world of God, nothing happens by coincidence. That is why it is not by chance that this icon of Theotokos of the Passion is placed near the relics of Saint Nectarios. The story of our holy Theotokos starts with her blessed conception, and now we are here on the day of the meeting of the Lord, and we can remind ourselves of the words which holy Theotokos heard from Simon the God Receiver. A sword will pierce through your own soul also. These were the first words Holy Teotokos heard coming into the mystery of the Incarnation, and not only Incarnation but exceptional union of God with humankind. She voluntarily takes part in this mystery, which even sounds cruel and to some extent horrible, and this can't be made a condition to every Christian who follows Christ and takes part in the New Testament reunion with God by the example of Holy Theotokos. I always say that Christianity is painful. We are in the habit of dividing saints into martyrs, venerable, righteous, holy hierarchs. But eventually every Christian is a martyr. What do I mean? Saint Nectarios of Egina was a great martyr without dying like a martyr, and here by his relics I would like to specify why I am constantly telling you Christianity is painful, and Christianity in any rate is a martyrdom. The essence of Christianity is reunion with Christ, accepting of whole Christ into your heart, view of life, mind, feelings, your whole self, while Christ together with himself brings sorrow for the whole world. Every one of us live more or less the same life. Today we have sorrows, tomorrow it feels easier, the day after tomorrow something else. But Christ always has his cross as he encompassed the whole humankind. Those who feel joyful, those who suffer, and tomorrow there will be others who suffer. Christ accepts the whole humankind. He doesn't pick anyone special. He chooses everyone and to the whole extent. And all the griefs and sufferings of the humankind, he bears himself. So, If the crucial point of the Christian religion is to reunite with Christ, deification, every one of us should ask himself or herself, are you ready to accept Christ? Christ who bears the sorrow of the whole world, of its every individual and of the whole humankind. Christ will bring to your heart all that depth, all that plenitude of sorrow, are you really ready to accept it? With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Christianity hurts. It hurts so much, but we should overcome all this. It is wrong to consider Christianity as a religion of well-being, comfort, peace, Once a novice said to Elder Paisios, I want to receive peace, stillness and silence from prayer. To what the elder answered, What are you seeking? Nirvana or Christ? Christ will bring the pain of the whole world. Are you ready to accept such Christ who will come and disturb your peace? And he will not only disturb... 
he will bring in bearable pain with him, as he is inseparable from the pain of the humankind. The saints realized it. That is the reason why they agreed to their martyrdom, and at the same time acquired the glory of God, his help. I do not enjoy reading idealized, expressionless, smoothed lives of saints. When, for example, someone describes that martyrs did not feel anything during their tortures and sang psalms. I like to read about the martyrs who felt pain, physical, moral pain. This is a real martyrdom. They remained loyal to Christ and didn't break down only due to they were supported by Christ. Without support from Christ, no one can survive that burden and pain. That is why when it hurts so much, you need Christ badly. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And you also need our holy Theotokos, who, if I may say so, is one of the first people who agree to martyrdom on hearing the following words. This word will pierce through your own soul also. And she humbly agrees with it, saying, Behold the maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. Together with the honor of being mother, she accepted all the burden of her son's cross and bore it till the end. Most holy Theotokos, Saint Nectarios, Pray God to us. Every Christian who lost the deep sense of Christianity needs Saint Nectarius nowadays. Many Christians experience Christianity as a religion of comfort. Their sole request to God is give, and very rarely we say take, take a part of my heart, though it will cause me a great pain. Contemporary Christianity ceased to think and live in this way, sacrifice for Christ. Saint Nectarius is one of the best examples. And the main thing, he lived only a hundred of years ago, very close to us. He agreed to Christianity of pain, cross, and came to such a noble end. Saint Nectarios the Enlightener, pray God to us. Most holy Theotokos, help us.